I hold it in here, right? And then I let her get in there and I really, she can almost get it and I make her push it and then I let her have it, right? And I'm making her drive for that. Like, so one of the first things I teach my dog is if you want it, you better take it. I'm not giving it to you. So I'll hold it there and start moving it a little bit and I uncover the food just a little bit so they can almost get it but can't quite. And then when they go, I let them have it, right? And so I'm encouraging that kind of push for it bit. And then once I see that they want it, like she's taking it, now stand still now, when she looks up at you, feed her a couple times again in a row. Don't really worry about making any noises at this point, just there. Now, now say yes and move. Yes. Good. Quickly, quickly. Yes. Yes. And don't stop and give it to her. Like, what you want to keep that thing moving, 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 moving until she takes it. There you go, right? Make her take that from you. There's. If you want this, you get it. I'm not giving it to you. And so I'll move it there. And this is all for motivation on the dog's part. If the dog starts to come forward and you stop and then just hand it to them, then they didn't have to put any effort in. in. Good. Now stand still and wait for her to look up. Yes, go. Yes. Boom. Yes. And then what you want to start doing, trying to do, is make a, a kind of more quick first step, right? So, hey, sweetie. So I'm right here. Hey, baby. Ready? I got this, I go, yes, boom. And I make a quick first step and then let her come get it, right? So, yes, Ooh. like a quick first step. You don't have to go fast after that, but you need kind of an explosive. Yes. Go, there you go, good, there we go. Don't wait, just wait, wait, wait. Just, you don't need it, just let her, like, so nothing's going on, so just give her a sec, she's gonna look, now, yes, bang. Yes. That was it, right? You don't have to intervene. When you're doing engagement with a young dog, yes. lots of people develop the bad habit of every time the dog looks away from him, it's like, I've built up an expectation of reward. There's nothing else in here, right? So I feed you a few times, and then the dog looks away, and I just stand there and wait. And you check things out. Now, if it takes forever, then I'll make a noise and move or do something. But in the beginning, I give them the opportunity. Look around. They look back. Yes, as soon as they look back, bang, yes. And do that a few times. And lots of times, they'll just stop checking out. But if I make a noise, then I, if I'm not careful, I can get stuck with that noise. It becomes habit. So many people do it just automatically. They don't even think about it. It's like, right? And now, when you don't do that, your dog doesn't pay attention to you. It is help. If I have to just make a noise sometimes to get my dog to pay attention to me, there's nothing inherently wrong with that. But if I do it all the time automatically, then next thing you know, you have a dog that won't pay attention to if you don't make a noise. And I want to let the dog volunteer. That's help that I'm gonna to have to fade. And so if you don't need it, don't use it, right? 